Hey, it's finally time for Aquarius season. I know you've been waiting. The original human who commented was an Aquarius. We made it. We're here. And so let's get the overall energy, the vibes first. This is the Reclaim Oracle from A Little Darkness. How are we going to be feeling this Aquarius season? What should it be? What should we watch out for? What should we be processing? What are some things we should let go of or take a closer look at? What are the vibes? What can we expect from this Aquarius season? There's anything else? No. Okay. So we have regret and integrity. So Aquarius season is asking us to be grateful and happy with who we are, to show up as our most authentic selves, our strangest selves, and to find love in that. That it's okay to have regret, to think back to your life and, you know, think, what if, right? What if I would have done something different? But we can't go back. And it doesn't matter how often we ruminate on these thoughts. They're only making us feel bad right now in the moment. And there's really nothing we can do about it. What you have to say is, look where I am. Look how far I've come. Look who I am today. If it wasn't for these choices, right, that I made in the past, if it wasn't for my past experiences, for everything that I have learned so far, all of the choices that I've made, regardless of the outcome, I wouldn't be where I am to be today. I wouldn't be who I am today. And who I am today is someone so proud, right? I'm so proud to be who I am. So I hope that you can step into your power via this Aquarius season and be like, here I am world. This is me. Deal with it or else, right? You have no other choice. Don't let the past get to you. Don't let other people get to you. People might judge you for your actions, right? It's too late to do this. You shouldn't be doing that. You should be focusing more on this. Doesn't matter, right? These people are not living your life for you. You have to show up as yourself. Take responsibility for yourself, for your actions, for your future. Okay? All right. So let's put this over here on the side. And then see what the tarot has to say. We are using the right away again because this is the easiest one for me to read. Well, hopefully one day we will graduate to the other fun ones. So Aquarius season. Look at you. Wheel of Fortune can go either way. We can sit in that regret which won't allow us to move forward or enjoy our present moment, who we are with, and these beautiful new steps we're taking. Or we can sit in integrity. We can sit in awe of ourselves, of how far we have come, and of how much we have left to be. You know, we can be going to the right or to the left. It's up to you. It's up to you. And the Wheel of Fortune can also be karma, right? What goes around comes around. If you do good, you receive good. If you do bad, you receive bad. So do good. Give as much as you possibly can, right? And know that if anyone has done you dirty, <laughs> this Aquarius season, they're going to get what's coming for them. Okay. We have the Nine of Pentacles. It was in the reverse. Um, so I'm going to leave it in the reverse. But the Nine of Pentacles is, it's a money card. It's a resource card. It's asking, hey, you know, do give and give as much as you can. But save some for yourself right? Don't, don't give everything you have to everybody. I think it's showing up in the reverse is that maybe you're giving too much. You're giving too much of your time, too much of your resources, your energy, your literal wealth to something. Either you're putting in way too many hours at work or school or your partnership or your family. I see a lot of responsibility here. There is so much responsibility. You're giving so much, I think you might be wearing yourself down. You have to save some time for yourself. You need to recuperate. You need to save finances for yourself, right? Not everything can be for everybody. It's okay 
to take care of people, it's okay to have this responsibility, right? We all have we all have things that we need to pay for. We all have things that we need to put our energy towards. And that's good, right? We put our energy towards our jobs because we need that for our careers to be able to live in this world, right? To pay for things. We put our energy and love into relationships because we want those to blossom and grow. But give only to a certain extent. What's showing up here is that you're giving too much. You are burning out and overextending yourself. That assignment can wait. That work you can do tomorrow, right? Give, but don't forget to also give to yourself. Give to yourself first. Save energy. Save finances, right? Make sure you're in a good place and then give to other people, okay? So give, but don't give too much. Anything else? Anything else for my Aquarians? Ooh, so many pentacles. So many pentacles. And pentacles are earth signs, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it's a very grounded sign. Not so much someone who's always in their head, very much someone who's here in the 3D world, but sometimes getting caught up in reality and in the material and all of these physical things in our lives, it can get, it can kind of weigh us down. All right, sorry about that. I did need to step out for a moment, but I'm back. I wasn't sure what I was saying. Oh, I think I was talking about there being a lot of earth here. So you might have earth placements in your chart, you might be surrounded by earth earth placements in your life, or you might be very much so in this reality, in this 3D, in this physical world all of the time, very much so in the present. What's my next goal? What do I do next? How can I accomplish this? How do I finish this? Right? Which is perfect, right? This is how we get through life. However, it's okay to imagine, it's okay to dream. Everything material first has to, you know, materialize in the non-physical. You can't do something without an idea. You can't write a word without thinking of the word first. It's okay to spend some time in that mind of yours and to dream up this life that you want. Uh, it's okay to disconnect as well. You don't have to be here now all the time, okay? Let's have a look. I'm going to move these over. All right, so give to yourself before you give to others. Know that what you're putting in will lead to the outcome, right? What you put in is the output that you receive. Um, so do good <laughs> and know that if anyone has done you any harm, that that will come back to them. So that was the first row. We have here at the bottom of the deck the Ace of Cups, right? This is something new and divided, divinely guided. Aces are always cards of beginnings. In this case, it's water. So water dictates emotion. So when I think of emotion, and this is beautiful, right? We have um, these lotus flowers on the bottom. And this is almost like a baptism. There's something new springing forth. If it was... Let's say if it was like a, the Ace of Wands, I would say like a new career opportunity or maybe uh, maybe someone coming into your life, something to do with work. If it had been the Ace of Swords, I would say something like a new idea, right? Something, a new idea, something in your mind, something in your mind that is being brought forward into the material. But this is a water card. It is an emotional card. So I'm thinking there's going to be something new in regards to relationships. If you are in a relationship, I think you're going to step into a new aspect of your relationship, something deeper, maybe taking this next step emotionally forward, not so much let's buy a house together, but the next step emotionally um, with, you know, intimately you'll get to know each other better, things like that. Uh, if not, something new, emotionally speaking, is coming to you. It can also be healing, right? Emotional healing, taking that step, that first step to healing your mental health, maybe going to therapy, uh, something like that. We also have the page here. Page is also the number one. Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, two beginnings, two emotional beginnings. The page 
We can't be sure if he is imagining the fish or if that is a real fish, but either way, he is very happy to see this fish. <laughs> So whatever is coming or whatever next step you're taking is not a particularly bad one. You are going to be kind of a beginner at this. Uh, maybe you've never been in a long-term right relationship before. Maybe you've never had to go to therapy or get this deep about how you feel or share that with another person. Uh, but it'll be a good thing moving forward. This is celebration, graduation, marriage, birthdays, parties. There's going to be something great to celebrate here, surrounded by family. Again, we have these coins. This is kind of someone looking at everything that they've created and not really stepping in, just allowing it to unfold in their life. Just taking, taking it in and being like, look at all that I've done, look at all that I've created. Just kind of basking in the gratitude. Now, this card keeps showing up in all of these readings, but this is yourself. This is you getting in your own way, these mental blockages, right? No, but I'm not good enough. I don't deserve this. I'm not smart enough. I don't have the time. You know, we can, we can come up with a million reasons to stop ourselves. At the end of the day, this is the only life we have, and it's not a particularly long one. We can spend our lives in whatever comfort it is we have now, but we can face a bit of discomfort and, and find out that life can be very different, that you are the creator of your life, and you can course correct at any point. You do not have to stay with what you know and are comfortable with, and if you change and you don't like that, you can change again and again infinitely. As much time as we have on Earth here, we can change. So please don't get into your own head about it, and if you do, talk to whoever this is, you're dealing with whether it's family I don't see it so much as a, as a work thing it's it's more so family or like personal friendships or relationships you can speak to them about this hey this is how I'm feeling um I'm kind of nervous about this right I, I'm feeling kind of, I don't want to regret my choices I don't want to make the wrong move talk it out with someone don't have don't tie yourself up don't have don't deal with these emotions by yourself because you don't have to right and I hope that you are able to step into yourself and understand how freaking magical and beautiful you are. And that no matter the step you're taking, you're taking the right one. Because everything is moving you to your future. Okay? We have judgment. The day of judgment, this angel coming in. This is beautiful. I think this ties into the wheel of fortune. You know, we have the wheel spinning and the day of judgment will come. So all this good that you have done, all this work that you have put in will come back. It will come back in the form of reward and you will get what you deserve. If someone has done something terrible to you, now is the, time, the day of judgment and they will get what they deserve. If you've done something bad that you regret, that might come back to bite you in the butt. Some people might come out of the woodwork. Hey, I found your email. Hey, do you still have this number? If you don't want your past, you don't have to accept them into your past, into your now. Um, but that might be coming around as well. So I don't know. You do you. You make your own choices. I can't say it's a particularly bad or good thing. I mean, we're circling here with new cards, so it's up to you. All right, we got the nine of wands. This is like okay. I set this goal right? I took that first step. I have that first wand in my hands, but I'm already beat up in battle. I am exhausted. I'm hurt. I'm in pain. I am in I'm tired. I don't want to have to deal with all of these other wands. I don't want to do it anymore. But you already put yourself in this mess. Don't see it as a mess. Don't see it as this insurmountable obstacle. You took the correct step forward. You embarked on something new in your life. And you will eventually get rid of all these wands. But don't see it in such a like ugh, negative way. And I have to stay up late. Now I don't have time for all of these other things. I'm so tired. Try to look at it in a positive light. I can do this. I'm so grateful that I have taken this new step in life. I am totally and fully capable of what it is that I want to do with my life. Right? So it's stepping into our power knowing that we are capable we are surrounded by support and love. We don't have to give as much as we think we have to give in order to be supported and to succeed. And more so, 
and importantly is taking care of ourselves and the things that we want. I do see the magician here wanting to like make an appearance. So a reminder, and this shows up again in a lot of readings, is that you are the creator of your life. There is no one getting in the way. You cannot allow people to get in your way, okay? But including you and your own mind. And here we have new opportunity coming in. I think whatever this is, whatever goal that you finally overcome or, or reach, it will lead to new opportunity. Okay, so there is good coming out of this. Bear through, struggle a little bit. It's all going to end up in a huge reward. All right, my beautiful Aquarians, that is it. That is all. I feel like some of y'all are going to get married, but, you know, I didn't say that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I'm happy that you were here. Love you. See you in the next one. Bye.